and adding another clean sheet, it must be great to be part of a team that's getting so many of these this season. Yeah, definitely, especially as a defender. It's like it's a, it's a great feeling to get a clean sheet and it's a good base. That if we keep clean, clean sheets, we know we're only a goal away from winning the game, so it gives us a good base from. From watching the game on, on the screen tonight, it certainly looked like the penalty area you defended in the first half was in a really bad condition compared to the, the one you defended in the second half. Just how difficult was it in that first 45 minutes to, to clear the ball at times? Yeah, I think generally just the whole half in the, the whole half of the pitch of the first first 45 was really boggy and patchy. So like you say, it was just trying to be getting through the ball because it was sometimes skidding, sometimes bouncing hard. So it was, it was just, like I said, a bit of concentration game in the first half. And the fact that you, you limited their chances as well, that must really please you. When you look at the players they've got in their uh, forward line, the likes of McGuinness and, and Lewis Potter, who certainly uh, are a danger to lead one defences. Yeah, I think, I think even the, the lads who come off and the lads who come on at full-backs were brilliant today. And Walsh made a couple of massive blocks at the end with a couple of chances they did make. They did, like you say, they didn't make many, but the couple they did, Walsh made a couple of big blocks at the end. It's very rare, I think, we see a manager make two changes at full-back at the the same time, did it surprise you as centre halves when you seen the two full backs about to be changed that are next to you? Uh, a little bit. He's done it, the gaffer's done it before in the season a couple of times. Not both at the same time, I don't think so. Sometimes just one of them where we sort of get look over, get on with it, and straight back in. Regan was straight in on my side and corner on the other side. And, and, and in Regan, is he a similar full back in, in what TJ offers as well? Are you, are you finding since that he's come in that he, he offers different things? Uh, no, I think they're both really good technically and going forward, which is obviously a lot of our game. So if you give them the ball, they know they're going to be able to handle it and play forward. But obviously they're both really athletic as well, which is massive defensively. So yeah, they're both really, really good at what they do at full back. It must be one of those games tonight where you come away and you think that's a really good point in a season when you come away to the likes of, of Hull City and, and come away with a clean sheet and a, a point in the back. Yeah, definitely. Especially, like you said earlier, with the pitch, I think it was always going to be a difficult game to play the way we want to play naturally and freely. So to come over a point was a good result. Uh, and now you go to a, a game against Accrington Stanley on, on Saturday. You still sit top of the table. Obviously, some results have gone your way tonight. Uh, Sunderland have, have lost in the division. Peter have beaten him to switch. So maybe that takes them a little further away. Accrington have, have lost tonight. It's these kind of points on the end of the season you'll look back on and, and think that was one of those points that maybe got us to where we needed to go. Yeah, well, yeah, like you say, it's, it's nice that the results might have been going our way, but we know there's a lot of games. We've got a lot of games left, so we just look at Saturday, another chance to get three points and hopefully keep us up there.